Some of you have asked if I have a video on cleaning the throttle body on my 2018 Accord and I don't because I haven't done it yet but I thought that's probably a good idea now that I'm getting up there in miles. Um, and it turns out that Honda actually has a procedure that you can check uh, the amount of carbon accumulation supposedly um, over the OBD so I'll show you that to begin with. So Honda says they have this procedure for checking the throttle body carbon accumulation um, and basically you start the engine up and bring it up to full temperature and then check the relative throttle plate um, sensor in the data list and it should be below 2.46 um, degrees it says if not clean the throttle body and um, I imagine this is because the um, throttle plate is adjusted to set the idle and so if it has to set it to a wider opening it means there's carbon accumulation in there so let's check what it looks like on mine so again this is for a 2018 Honda Accord with about 165,000 miles and we'll go in here and do read data stream and then we'll enter rel throttle plate sensor Okay, and it looks like it's sitting here at about 2.82, so that is over the 2.46, so according to the Honda procedure, um, it should, uh, the throttle body should be cleaned in for carbon collection. So recently I got one of these uh, Blue Driver OBD uh, tools that hook up to your phone and are supposed to read OEM data, so let's see how that one um, does for the same test, see if we get the same result. So here's what it looks like on the uh, phone with the blue driver. You can see that the relative um, throttle positions bounce in on this tool between 3.1 and 2.7. So I think it's the same measurement. It's just that unfortunately um, this tool doesn't display the extra decimal point. So it's just kind of averaging between the two. Overall I've been a little bit underwhelmed by the performance of this blue driver to be honest. So in any case, it does look like the throttle position is over the 2.46, so indicates it should be cleaned according to Honda. So let's clean the throttle body and see if um, the reading falls below that 2.46. So the somewhat painful part is that the throttle body is tucked pretty far down under there. Um, so I think we're going to have to take out the battery and maybe access it from this side. I think I'll start by just popping the battery out to get a little bit better access. Now with the battery removed you can see the uh, throttle body in there, it's pretty tucked in there. Uh, so I think what we're going to do is remove this, uh, the air intake tube to get at access to the front. So to do that I think we do have to take out the uh, air cleaner and the air box here in the front. And then there's a little uh, clip in the front here for this electrical connector. And then we've got the 5.5 5 millimeter bolt here. And then just a couple of panel clips on the air intake in the front. And then on the air intake box, there's two 10 millimeter bolts in the front here. And then in the back, it just sits in a rubber grommet. Pull it up out of there. 
Okay, and now we can remove this uh, air intake hose here. Okay, and now there's three uh, there's three bolts here. One for this wire harness, and then two in the back here that hold this uh, air intake pipe in place. Go grab a magnet so I don't drop those. Okay, so up in the front there's just a couple of electrical connectors that have to come off. That frees that up. And then there's just this one uh, tube that has to come off as well. Oh, I just disconnected up on this end here. Now I think that whole intake tube is free once we uh, take off the hose clamps up on this end here. Hopefully you can see in there a bit, but I'm just removing this uh, hose clamp where it goes into the where the air intake goes into the throttle body. And now we should be able to just pull off that tire tube. the clamp there. All right, let me show you what we've got going on here. So there you see the um, throttle body and there's two hoses uh, that bring coolant to the throttle body to keep it from icing up. So that's that one and you see the one down below. So I'm just going to put a hose clamp um, pliers on those and then pull off the other end um, and then probably put a little plug in the end to keep it too much coolant from draining out since I'm not draining the coolant. Hopefully you can kind of see in there it's a little bit tight um, but I'm going to just uh, just going to clamp that coolant pipe off here and then I'm going to try to get the other end off so clamp on there I put a little bit of absorbent material under there just to kind of hopefully catch some of the coolant that'll come out. Let me just see if I can wheel that free now. Okay, so now there are four bolts that hold it in. Um, this one there, 
one can you see that there? One there, one down there, and then one in the back here. And then there's this electrical connector in the back that has to be pulled off. If we can get that electrical connector off. I think there's just a tab on it. Yeah, it's just a tab. And that comes off. And then we'll get the bolts are all 10 millimeter. And then the one on the uh, bottom right side is a little bit tough to see, so don't forget to get that one. There are four in total. They all do have a pretty long shank on them, so they shouldn't just fall out on you. I'm trying to grab those all out with a magnet. Start with the toughest one there. And one down in here. Oops. And that one there. One at the top. And then we should just be able to pull the whole throttle body out of there. There is an uh, O-ring or a gasket on the back, so be wary of that. I'm not sure. I guess that's going to stay behind for us. Yeah, so hopefully you can see in there with that uh, orangish-red O-ring stayed in there. So that's supposed to be replaced. Um, this one looks in good shape to me, so I'll probably just reuse it. Okay, so now you're wondering probably what does it look like? Is it really dirty, fouled up? Well, on the intake side, it's uh, nice and clean, as you probably expected. And then on the engine side, well, yeah, it's pretty black. There's quite a bit of uh, carbon build up there for sure. Um, so probably, probably reasonable to clean it. It doesn't look um, as horrible as I was expecting, maybe, I think. Um, the one thing I would note is when you um, go to clean it, Honda actually recommends that you don't just spray the cleaner in there, and in particular they say stay away from the uh, the two bearing surfaces there and um, obviously over on over on this side here, um, and say that you should just go in there with a rag with throttle plate cleaner on it instead. Um, apparently there's molybdenum grease in the bearings that can be washed out if you just go spraying in there. I don't know how big a deal it is, but I'll just probably use a rag and clean it the best I can. So I'm going to use the Honda throttle plate cleaner just because I happen to have a can of it around. Just a spray can. I'm sure the commercially available stuff would, would be fine too. I'm just going to get in there and try to get some of that carbon buildup off. It seems like it loosens up pretty pretty well with that cleaner. I won't bore you with this whole process. I'll tune you back in when that's clean, all cleaned up. Okay guys, here's what it looks like uh, all cleaned up. I just got in there with some Q-tips and that cleaner works pretty well. Uh, really came off um, you know, pretty easily just with a Q-tip and a, and a rag. So I think that uh, should be good. So some of you might be tempted to um, do this on the vehicle. I know that was common on previous Accords. Um, it's pretty tough to get into the dirty side, which is the back, um, and really clean it out well. But if you do wind up doing it that way, just make sure you have the battery completely disconnected before you stick anything in there, especially your fingers, because um, the engine computer can, you know, turn that at uh, different times and uh, crunch your fingers if you've got them in there. So be careful about that if you do it that way. I probably won't uh, show putting it all back together because it is just kind of the uh, reverse of taking it apart. Uh, but make sure you do get that O-ring back in there. And again, Honda does recommend uh, getting a new O-ring. One thing I should mention is that the torque um, 
on the bolts holding the throttle body on is uh, 12 newton meters. And obviously you probably want to go around a few times gradually tightening them down. So after cleaning the throttle body you're supposed to go in and relearn the idle. Let's see if we can do that. Throttle learning. Yes. Gear shift is in neutral. Parking brake is on. Okay, ensure all electronics, AC, audio speakers, lights have been turned off. Turn the vehicle to on mode and wait two seconds. Okay. Start the engine. Keep the engine at 3000 RPMs until the engine coolant temperature reaches 90 C. Make the engine run at idle for about 5 minutes with the throttle fully closed. So let me wait and finish that and then we'll see what the uh, throttle uh, position is at. So after sitting here and idling for about 5 minutes or so under the same conditions I tested it earlier, it does look like the relative throttle plate um, sensor position is like 1.76 now. So definitely significantly lower than it was before. I think it was like 2.8 or something. And Honda said to clean um, if it was above, I think, 2.46. So uh, definitely seemed to make a difference. So thanks for watching. And uh, if you do this on your Honda, let me know how it goes. And let me know how dirty yours is compared to... Uh, how mine was and if you see much of a change in the um, relative throttle plate um, position afterwards.